Hello, lovers. I am leaving the Publix because I'm trying to get a couple of things together because my wife is headed back to the DMV to go visit family. And, you know, she needs to go back home more. That's all I can say, you know, because before I got down here, she ain't go back home like for four years. And I told her that is ridiculous. Okay, that is ridiculous. But her ex was a cancer. Okay, and my BFF is a cancer that's married to a Virgo. Y'all know my wife is a Virgo. And them two hang up each other's asses like, I don't know. You know, that's too much pressure. I don't believe in not getting away from each other. You need space to me in a relationship, guys. But hold on, before we get into it. Hey, guys. Hey, this is Nay. Follow me on IG, Periscope, Twitter, Spreaker, and support me on Patreon at Nay Rob on YouTube. Don't forget to like this video, share this video, comment respectfully, and subscribe. Now, let's get into some what the hell is going on here now news where I'm going to be talking about Choice TV and a couple of other things, right? But, um... The reason why I'm talking about having space in relationships is because, number one, I feel like it's important. You know, you smother each other. You start to get on each other's nerves. To me, I think it's a good thing when you take separate vacations. Now, when you take these separate vacations, you're not supposed to have a peach waiting for you over there in Malibu or a pickle over there waiting for you in Italy. It's for you to take a mental break from the kids, from the family, from your responsibilities, everything. I'm not saying for, you know, you to take your break and act a whole, you know, whole. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is that I believe that space is good in a relationship because I believe that it gives you time to miss your mate, you know, and, you know, it may also prevent situations where you be hitting them in the head with a piece of cabbage you know space is good but the reason why i'm bringing that up also is because i was watching my favorite young dude mukbanger destined choice or choice tv however or whatever you watch him doing now let me say this when i said that he was 38 or something like that or he was almost 40 my bad i thought the dude said that he was celebrating his 38th birthday but y'all told me he always joking around like that i thought the young dude would just drink a whole bunch of water like me he be doing you know vegan pancakes and vegan cupcakes and you know stuff like that i thought he just ate healthy and just took very good care of his body that's what i thought because i was like damn this young dude look real real good or this 40 year old dude look real real good for him to be almost 40 child y'all came in and y'all corrected me y'all was like nay he just graduated high school like two years ago thank you thank you i don't know everything y'all i just found the little boy or the young dude because you know i just seen him muck banging and i was like oh he's not irritating me when he's smacking and you know talking about that but the video that i just seen oh that shit was irritating he was eating melon and kato pancakes brother I love to hear him talk. I love his perspective because it's so young, but still vast. But child, when he was smacking on that damn melon, I couldn't do it. I couldn't keep myself together. I had to come in and out. I had to take breaks, child. I had to take breaks. But what he was talking about was the Ace family and their house tour, right? And he pointed out the dynamic between the couple. Now, you know, the Ace family... Okay, they got they not looking real good out here on the street, but they have a huge following. From what I understand, they've done some inappropriate things with, you know, the young people in their home. I'm trying to keep this monetized, so that's why I'm not saying certain things together or putting them together. But they've also uh, said some inappropriate things about dark-skinned women. You know, things that um, I believe that YouTube need to have a better grasp on with things you know i think youtube spends so much money or spends so much time um monitoring the small youtubers 
that they allow the larger YouTubers to just do and say whatever. Why? Because it brings them in money. I know that YouTube is overlooking a lot of bad behavior from um, people that receive super chats because they get 30% of it. And, um, you know, like huge followings like PewDiePie, the Ace Family, uh, Nikki and Jamie, just they they overlook a lot of bad behavior. But anyway, getting back to Choice TV, what he said was that um, the Ace Family um, was going on a house tour and you could see that their dynamic was not that of a loving, embracing family. Now, one thing I will say, Dest Destin is that you, I mean, just in life, once you get into your relationship, now I've said before, I don't know whether that man is gay, straight, fluid. I don't know what he is. You know, I don't know. So I'm not going to comment over it. I tried to talk about the man's age and I was wrong as hell. So, you know, I'm not going to comment on his sexuality. But when you get into a relationship, you will see that when you share time with someone and you be with somebody all the time especially even when you got a camera in your fucking face the person's going to get on your nerves that's what relationships are about and you just push through those days you don't just be like oh you know it's over i had to learn that every time i used to think that every time i was in an argument with somebody that meant that the relationship was over but it's not true. The relationship is not over. You push past those days. Now, do I believe when I was watching that Ace Family video with the tour that they was just on each other nerves that day? Yes, I do. But I also see moments where I was like, ooh, yikes. I don't know. Maybe they need to get away from each other. They not really happy. And you can see that dynamic. That is the flaw, child whip. Hold on. That is the flaw when you are being recorded or when you put your life out there on um, on social media or to the public, child. They are scrutinizing everything you do, child. And you know that goddamn Destin Choice. Oh, that ninja. He scrutinizes everything. That's why his views so high, baby. That's why his views is so high. He don't give a hell. I keep telling some of these people you might need to tread lightly because, you know, one of these people might run up on your ass. And you may not be prepared. I mean, choice, destiny. You might be down there. I don't know where you at, California. I don't know where you, you might even be in the Safeway, the Giant, the Publix, the Kroger, wherever. And somebody you done pissed off may run up on your ass. Because he said in the video that the Ace Family fans have um, said some really messed up things to him. And, you know, he, you know took it on the chin but let me tell you something be careful because there's a lot of nut jobs out here that's waiting for an opportunity to go berserk for their favorite youtuber i'm telling you that's why i tread lightly down here in these streets you heard me i tread lightly i ain't got time to be fighting a whole hole of a nigga i never met in my life okay but you know hold on oh damn i've been talking so long so anyway what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put both links in the um in the um the description bar because i want you to see it and if you follow them let me know i doubt very seriously if my following follows them you know but some of y'all follow choice because y'all like him i don't know you know I, I i don't know it i just say to you choice that when you're in a long-term relationship, you guys will get on each other's nerves. That's just what it's about. You get on each other's nerves, you take a break from each other, and you keep it moving. Excuse me, I'm trying to find my garage key. Um, you keep it moving. Cause to otherwise, you're going to kill each other. You know? And then you're always taping in the... This is what I want to know. When they were recording that video with the house tour, why didn't the cameraman say, pause, pause, pause? Y'all need to, like, get this together because y'all looking real, you know, disgusting right now. Y'all looking like y'all hate each other. So, pause, take a break, go get a cup of coffee, you know, uh, eat a CBD gummy, whatever it is that you need to do to help you be better. But y'all is looking real shaky right now. And we not looking like a happy couple right now. But I don't know if they meant to do it or not. I don't know. I really don't know. But anyway, guys... 
Let me know how you feel. Do you feel like it's good for relationships to take breaks from each other or, you know, go on vacations separately? You know, do you th- I think you should do vacations together also, but I also think it's cool to get, um, you know, a break from each other. All right. Now, if you have not already done so, please like and share this video because it is so important to my success here on the YouTube. Now, remember this. The same people you meet on the way up will always be the same people you meet on the way down. They say as my patron loves. Have a good one. Deuce.